All right, welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to float images using CSS. So what we're starting with here is a simple document that has title, room for some styles later. H1, paragraph tag, image, paragraph, image, paragraph. So if we look at this in the browser, looks a little something like this. So very basic. Notice the great use of ghetto lorem ipsum here. So what we'd like to be able to do is have these images, instead of displaying as block line elements sort of as they are now, we want to float them to the right of the screen. And to do that in our CSS, we'll simply select our images, so an IMG. And then use the float property. And there are two values for the float property. Float left and float right. Now notice that in this example, these images are coming up against each other and the bottom image is hitting the floated image above it. If we want to make sure that they're floated and they clear each other, then we could use a property called clear, which also takes the values of left, right, and both. In the case of this bottom image, because we wanted to clear what's appearing to the right of it, we would just type clear right. And when we look at that, it would come below it. If we said clear left, we'd be working for a design agency in Britain. And notice that it would clear anything that's on the left of it, but this image is not one of the floated things to the left of it. Let's take this one step further. And let's assign unique IDs to each of our image. So now I have unique IDs that I could apply, and I'll say image example one, you float right, image example two, you float left. Now in this example, we'll see one image floating to the right and the other one to the left here. We don't have to worry too much about clears, but in the future, you'd probably want to go back and apply some margin and padding just so that your image um, appears with some space around it before the text. But there you have it, very simple property that is uh, very helpful. And in the next video, we'll look at how to use floats to set up basic pages um, with two-column layout.